All right, so you performed in Saudi. Um, uh, what other countries you performed in and had you performed in India? And what was that like? Okay, I performed in Dubai. Yeah. Is that a country? I mean, is it a country or a city? I can never tell. Yeah, whatever, yeah. One of those, right? And I then yeah. I, performed in, I performed in Qatar. Okay. Or they say Qatar. I think we say oh, Qatar, yeah. Qatar to them. And then I performed in India. I did perform in India. India was, the, the crowds were, were huge, but I don't think they really liked me. Um, so I did a show with, I was performing with Gabriel Iglesias. And okay. so they all came to see him uh, cool. and they didn't really come to see me. So to them, I sound like uh, I'm a completely Americanized sellout. I just happen to be brown kind of guy. Did uh, you feel the need to add an accent like when you were talking or? Well, the weird thing is you realize when for a while, like this is their, this is the accent to them. So mm -hmm. I do like my dad's accent. It just sounds like I should actually probably have done my set through my dad. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Does that make any sense? Yes. Yeah. yes. Um, in hindsight, that probably would have worked because my South Indian accent is very authentic. It's dead on. But like that just sounds normal to them. And then this sounds like I'm doing a character almost. Right. right. So they didn't really. I, and the only reason I know they didn't really like me, it's not that they didn't boo. They clapped and stuff. But for when Gabriel was there, they were going when he did an Indian accent, they went absolutely insane. They couldn't. He has this bit about an Indian guy robbing a bank. I am talking to you. And they request stuff. Like they just yell it out what they want to hear. And he does it and they go crazy. I'm like, I just did that accent. <laughs> and you guys did nothing for me. And then because he's, how, how does he know? I mean, it's not even, no offense to Gabriel, but it's not even a really good Indian accent. It's pretty, pretty <laughs> generic Indian accent, but they lose their shit. Now, and to his credit, like he, his sound effects, any sound effects he did, like if he started a car, they would lose their shit. Yeah. Hmm. So maybe you should have added more sound effects. Yeah. I mean, in hindsight, but I haven't been asked back in eight years. So I think, I think, I'm talking about banned from, banned from comedy clubs, <laughs> banned from a country. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I'm surprised that like his Mexican material was actually killing over there. Yeah. They, they, they love the joke they always quoted was he does this one about, Picking up his friend Martine in it in it uh, fast yeah the fat Martine that thing Martine, yeah. Yeah. yeah they request that everywhere that was yeah. in the Middle East too they just scream it out and I know they have no idea what it means because <laughs> they'll say like Martine and then they'll it's like a sing it's like a uh, what do you call it? like a singing response. response yeah because they'll say he'll say Martine and then all the Indian people are like Orale like you know they don't <laughs> what Orale means it's awesome. Yeah, that is cool. He was blown away by it because he was like, "I gotta do, I gotta write, I gotta do this new stuff." I'm like, "It doesn't matter over there. It doesn't matter. They just want right. to see the hits." You know, so, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm sorry that I got my mind blown that that, that that's how that transpired. That's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's like singing a song to them because it's so brand new. Like it's so, especially in India, in the Middle East, stand up is so brand new. It's maybe yeah. maybe ten years, if that. I don't even know if it's even ten years. And it sounds like right, yeah. And it's yeah. like a kill when I go over. Yeah. Yeah, they love you. They're, 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 they're light, you're light skin too. You're light skin too. They love light skin people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be great. They will never see it coming. It'd be great. You actually kind of, in this in this whatever filter, you look North Indian. North Indian? What? Yeah. That's a good thing. That's a compliment. That's a compliment. Oh, so <laughs> Xavier tells me I could never pass as anything but a white girl. Are you kidding me? Well, that's I because totally I hang out with you a lot. That's why. <laughs> Being full Mexican, I will take anything I get that's not white. I will absolutely take it because I got all the scholarship money. So, okay. <laughs> jokes on you. I think the key to looking North North Indian is to hang that's out it. with South Indians. That's the key. That's the key. <laughs> so if you hang out with me, you will be like, "Oh yeah, this is my Punjabi cousin, Mary." <laughs> Sweet. Everybody will totally believe it. And I'll be Punjabi. That'd be phenomenal, Tanvir. Why yeah. did you tell me this? Because I didn't want. No, I didn't. No, no. no. <laughs> I'm like cringing from inside right now. Like, he doesn't do well when I get compliments on the show at all. I, I don't. Not on the show, just in general, just in life. Oh yeah, it's fair. <laughs> take, her, take her to your next Indian gig. Uh, I could. You don't have to I feel like, just watch it. Oh yeah. I feel like it's underground though. Like I'll never know that they're they're even booking for these Indian gigs, and all of a sudden I see him post. I'm like, when did this happen? He's like, oh yeah, underground network. Have everyone talked? I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, like I didn't even have a chance. I mean, they're hard because they're without them telling you, it has to be G rated. Can't cuss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Can't be dirty. I mean, that's why I made so much money off it. I have this thing that specifically works for that older uncle and auntie H one crowd. 
That's <laughs> Some of the works on my regular and regular audiences, but for the most part, there's like specific references that, because you can't talk about dating to, yeah. especially to older uncles and aunties, people like my parents' age, they never dated. Right. You can't talk about drinking because they didn't drink. Can't talk about pop culture. I mean, that, eliminate, that eliminates almost everything. Right. Yeah. So, so no, so no, nothing sexual or anything of that aspect as well. No, nah, it's, it's, it's rare, and you have to be G-rated anyway. So you have to like, I was trying to write from their perspective of what they think would be fun. Right. So, that, that's anything, a mistake, yeah. Go ahead. That's a mistake I did in my first year of comedy. I got booked for an Indian gig, and I had this joke about how I hate Indians a lot, and the main reason I moved out of India was to get rid of them. Yeah. And that didn't go well. They actually yeah. threw me out of the show. Like literally, they threw me out of the show. Yeah, I've had yes. I've had uh, the DJ come back on one time. Okay. Oh, dear, in your set. Okay. <laughs> because there's so there's no momentum there. They either like it or they don't like it. And if they don't like it, the worst they're gonna That's do it. is not laugh. But when they laugh, they like clap, and then it's on to the next joke. But you get no leeway. There's no momentum there. Like it's because yeah. <laughs> most of these are for charity events. They're like you know there's. Some earthquake in in Mumbai, and then you you got to follow that slideshow of all these people under rubble. You're like, all right, now we have a comedian. I'm like, all right. Oh my god. Aren't, aren't, who here is breathing? They don't have. To breathe. <laughs> Wasn't yours a convention, Tamir? Mine was a gas station owner's convention. <laughs> <laughs> you, that itself was funny. Like. <laughs> I actually do that joke now. I never do that joke. I say I was invited to that and they threw me out. And that did not hurt me that much as the fact that no one at the gas station owners convention, not even a single person came up to me and said, thank you. Come again. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I hate that group a lot now. <laughs> and I see, see them at yeah, the temple, man. I see them every Sunday. Oh, that sucks. That's like that's like doing a cruise ship show on a Wednesday, and then you're you're stuck there till Sunday. Right. That's oh, that's the worst, longest. Oh no, no. <laughs> I, I, oh, I, here here's my Indian gig that was weird. Speaking of cruise ship, I I performed for a Patel uh, cruise. Like so, all the Patels are actually they all kind of like really like it's like Kevin Bacon. It's like one degree Kevin Bacon with Patels. They all know each other. They all hang out together. It's a real thing. And they booked this cruise ship, and I performed for them. And same thing, but except it's parents and their kids so it has to be completely g-rated right i'm doing fine for a while and then uh i start doing jokes about indian food you know it turns out everybody there is vegetarian and so my jokes about meat like just <laughs> like, like nothing like and i didn't even know it was that so when i got up i was like i don't know where i lost it. I was like dude you were talking about meat they don't eat meat <laughs> like they know beef they know what a cow is right like they can't just they can't just imagine what meat is like. And it was not even like I'm doing 30 minutes on like gaff again about bacon. I'm just mentioning it a few times. And then it just lays there. Oh. Dude, there's like, they, they had the strict vegetarians. Like there's this, there's this, I think it's Jane. There's this sect of Jane. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like they won't eat things that touch the ground. Like it's like, uh, they won't onions, eat. Potatoes, they won't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Anything spicy oh. because like onion, like onions are too spicy because it'll make you angry and all this stuff. I'm like, did everybody eat fucking eat onions before they came to the show? What the fuck? Onions <laughs> are amazing. That's, I can, I could not with that crowd now. And I was stuck with that, with that, uh, with that group for three other days. So. And did you have to perform multiple days? No, just that one day. And I was stuck oh, on. Dang it. Would you get looks? Like going through the corridors and stuff. It's hard to it's hard to tell. With any people, always have those looks anyway. They're, we were very, <laughs> we like created the resting bitch face. <laughs> Tim, yeah. that explains so much. <laughs> That's <laughs> a really good line. <laughs> we overly laugh, especially us with beards. Like everything is. <laughs> it's really not that funny. Like me and no. Andrew, we would never <laughs> laugh if we saw each other. We stare at each other like it's yep. chess. You know. <laughs> Man. 